Dr. Ben Kennedy has been studying lava for 10 years, but today he's on a beautiful Hawaiian beach playing with sandcastles to explain just how the island's volcanoes got their craters. Underneath Kilauea Volcano, magma exists in, in chambers buried underground. So this is demonstrating uh, uh, the shield volcano built up from layers of lava um, before a collapse event. Kilauea has a unique landscape. It's peppered with craters. These aren't your usual explosion craters. These are subsidence craters. So an, an explosive crater forms. Um, if you imagine like you bury a stick of dynamite in a field, blow it up, it blows a hole out. A collapsed crater forms when magma is withdrawn from underneath it, and then the, the ground falls down to fill that hole. The Hawaiian craters are special because they're almost all subsidence craters. There's very few explosion craters on Hawaii. So the air escaping out of this beach ball is like the magma leaking sideways inside the volcano or erupting as a lava flow down the flanks of the volcano. So if a really large volume of magma moves sideways or leaks out, then the summit, the gap will be created underneath the summit and the summit will start subsiding into it. So in this example, the air from the beach ball um, leaked out the side and the weight of the sand pushed down and flattened off creating this crater. At Kilauea, the magma moved sideways within the volcano, and the weight of the rock caused the collapse at the summit. This is just like what you can see up on, um, on Kilauea summit with steep caldera walls and a relatively flat crater. This can happen on a variety of scales. At Kilauea, there's a caldera that's nearly three miles across that's formed in this way, but you can also get small subsidence pits that are just a few hundred meters across. This is what Kilauea caldera would look like right after a collapse event. However, subsequently, lava would flood the caldera floor, flattening it off. You can actually see this at Halimama at the moment, where a lava lake is rising and falling inside the caldera. 